Oh guys, it's Sunday, 4.30, and I didn't do much out here today. I didn't do anything to the car, but study it. Uh, I have a major problem, but I think it can be corrected. Um, I didn't clean up on this side of the garage, but I did on the other side a little bit, and I'll show you here in a minute. But first, I want to show you the problem I've noticed. It was really bothering me that this was going in here. I was get, always getting a low right there. So I got looking at it and right here is slanted in. And in order for me to get that straight, I'll just show you. It's straight but it's not the right way. That would have to be body filled out to there to be streamlined with the car. So I got locking, got locking, and I see what I done wrong, or I see what's not working. It's not really what I done wrong. I put the quarter back in where it was, but what I got to do, I got to cut here, and I got four or five spot welds inside there. I'm going to have to grind those out. Um, I'm going to have to cut it here, I believe, take my porter power and push it out here. Because, I don't know, it was really deceiving to the eye, but I finally noticed it. Uh, when I look along this, it's not straight. It needs to come out. So, it was a lot of work, but I'm going to have to grind all the body fill back off from here to there and get this brought out square the way it should be compared to the front um, the front is straight on the wheel well and this isn't and I just noticed it how, how much it's off and it's only half an inch but it's a lot it, I don't know if you can see that but it's it's sloped back and I have to bring that back out so I got some some fixing to do here uh, I looked at this for a long while and I didn't notice that that bad but I'm glad I noticed it now so I think I'll grind it off from here to there to start with maybe leave some up here because that's going to make if that comes out, that's going to make this high, so I'll be able to sand that some more. So, that's what i got to try to do anyway, so it's kind of like starting over again, almost. But, i got to get that right. And I think what I'll do to get that right is make sure that front fender is tipped in the right way too, and get a nice straight uh, line on it. So, anyways, that's what I've been doing, running back and forth from the working on the heist over there on the other side and just looking and actually I noticed it last night and I thought about it and thought about it and then I come out this morning and I start looking and uh, I think this is in the right place here compared to the other side but here it is sloped forward so that's what's causing me all the trouble uh, and I if I body I was trying to keep this in here but that's why I was keep getting the low. And if I had body filled that, I would have been out to there. Half an inch would have brought me out the boat there. And it wouldn't have left me much of a wheel, well, wheel arts left. So, um, yeah, you can see it. It's plain as day now. So, I got to correct that before I go any further. Uh, Hopefully this is okay. Uh, um, it sure looks okay, and this is all working out good here. But once I get that out, I think I'll have a better luck getting that area straight. So, anyways, uh, that's what I've been doing all day uh, between working on the the heist over here. So, wasn't very good condition for painting, but I just swept up. I I lifted the door. And the water was just flying in here when I was painting, but uh, it's funny how a little bit of paint makes things look a lot better. There's the heist. 
I had a uh, little bit of, I had about a pint of red paint left over from a job and all I done, I just washed it down, scuffed it down with uh, 80 grit. I uh, didn't have no mixing cups, so I used old containers I had and I put uh, two coats of epoxy primer on it. Oh, I, I scuffed it all down, wa washed it all again with wax and grease remover and put two coats of epoxy primer on it, two coats of red base, just enough base, and then I give her two quick coats of clear. And I just took the paper off the airbag and the lines. Uh, this one here I didn't tape up because that's all I was holding it right now. I got her filled up with air and got it pinched off in a hole there. And I stuck a jack stand under there probably four hours ago and it's still not hitting the jack stand so it's holding. I set it up on the these two planks and skidded it up on top of this one which wasn't that easy these things are heavy and I had paper around it because I got to clean the other one up so I didn't want to get too much paint on it and uh, lifted this one up with the, with the bottom one and gave her a paint job so it turns out pretty good I still got to make some sort of valve here which I'll put here so just be like a quick connect on there to sub your air hose on pump her up maybe put a valve in there or something and uh, I got to put the bearings these bearings here go on here with a little snap ring so I'll uh, I'll put those all back on, clean them up, and uh, whoever gets it can have the option of having a turntable because that could come in handy for, for red kind of jobs, you know. So, anyways, I just uh, <laughs> it looks pretty good actually. I don't know if I want to sell it now, but I gotta get some letters and put the stuff like this back on. I should have cleared this into it, but I never thought at the time. I could have laid that on there maybe and cleared it, but I'm gonna get some letters and put this stuff back on and I'll save all the the safety uh, stuff, which I did save it. And whoever gets it, I'll give them to so they know it's a real live lift or whatever. So, and he's got another one here. It was kind of tore up bad, but too bad I hadn't been able to save them, but I couldn't. So, anyway, that's I wanted to share that with you. Show you what a little bit of paint will do. The only trouble is I don't have enough red paint to paint the other one, so I have to dig through my cabinet and see what else I can come up with. So, but uh, here she is. Say so I'll do a little more work to them, and uh, like put the proper valve on it everything I tried to straighten that out but it kept just flopping back down so I didn't figure that would make any difference so and there was a square angle iron around there I just cut it off cleaned it up so there's one done one to go so anyways guys uh yeah this Nova is gonna be a nightmare I don't know if I'm gonna uh, look at this side this side's good uh, it's sitting nice and straight so like I said this side's going to be easier and the wheel well is nice and uh, straight this way so so this side is definitely going to be easier but I do I got some uh, finagling to do on the other side so we're going to next Friday I'll go at that again so see if I can fix it up and that way I can get that body fill on the right way because I knew it was, I was putting too much on and there had to be a reason because it didn't if it's just you couldn't see it with your eyes so well I did see it with my eyes but it took me a while so anyways I'm gonna let you go there and uh, hope everybody has a good week and uh, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later have a good one